Let us all pray silently. Living Father, we believe in your promise that we'll receive as much as we love you. Help us to receive all the blessings. This be a blessed night for us to receive all the blessings that is in store for us. Help all the problems be resolved. We believe that the word is living right now and performing miracles. Help that word become ours. Father, am I still within all complaints and grumbling? We don't, we're sitting here not knowing what our ancestors have sown. Help us not to be foolish by looking at other people's just sins. Help us to confess those sins as our sins. Help, if we are baptized, help us to be, help us to die. Are we still living alive that we're still grumbling and complaining? Help us not to be foolish in ruining our own households. All this we pray in Jesus' name, giving thanksgiving and blessings. Amen. God is living. We will change our fate as much as we love Him. But if you look at people, all they seek is their own benefit. It's, let's look up this Second Timothy chapter 3. It's because of this sin that we cannot receive blessings. Everybody just loves themselves. It's really pathetic. Why do God give us problems? Why are we here tonight? We're not at, like other people who are on vacation. They go to all kinds of vacation. How come we don't go there, but why do we have to come here? It's not because we don't know how to go there. No. Because of the calamity that's in front of us, Proverbs 29 verse 1, we don't know who's going to die right away. This incredible calamity and curses that's in front of us, we don't even know. They don't even know. And then they go by the beach and the ocean. What if they drown to death or on their way they get into accidents and die or they die in the tent you just don't know when God's going to call you your end you have to prepare for your end that's Deuteronomy chapter 32 everybody who's read it will know you have to realize now your end when you realize then you're going to prepare for your end it's not the end of the world but you have to prepare the end of your life where is that written? Deuteronomy 32, verse 29. And yet you don't even know that and you just live without knowing that's pathetic. Those who can't realize, they have no, they have no idea. God, it says, no matter where you are, whether you're inside the house or whether you're a child of a conglomerate, whether you're protected or not with your back, doesn't matter. That person, God doesn't want anyone to go to hell Ezekiel chapter 18. So what does he give you? He gives you problems so that you can go look for God. So when God gives you problems, so why are you stuck with that problem right there? Look at our country. Those who are so arrogant, they think they're doing well. How, how well are they doing now? They, God will make them get on their knees before God and before Jesus. God will give them problems. So those who are so arrogant, uh-huh. He's going to get hit by God, and if you just wait, they're going, to, they're going to get broken. Why? Because God makes everybody get on your knees before Jesus Christ. Philippians chapter 2, verse 10. I didn't make that up. It's all in the Bible. God will give you problems until you get on your knees. So then, why shouldn't you get on your knees early on? Then you don't, all the problems will go away. And you don't even know that much and you're trying to read the Bible? That's really pathetic. You and me, this problem is before us. That's why you're here before that, because you're, par you're arrogant and you're stubborn. You didn't repent. You have to know that. What's really incredible is that you're exactly like your parents. Everybody has that. Look at drama on TV. You look, you're just like your grandmother. You, you're just like your dad. Why? Because the demons are passed down. Your ancestors' transgressions is down to you. Sins have come to you. First John chapter 3, verse 8, where there is sin, demons will attach yourself. So what kind of demons? Where there is sin, that kind of demon will attach. So that's why you hear, oh, you, you're just like somebody. But you're going to die just like whom you look like. 
If your mother has stomach cancer and you look like your mom, you'll die of stomach cancer. Every household, just look, just look in, live within your own household. But God said He will block all that for you. Towards the end of Lee Dynasty, these days, you can't see those kind of houses these days. This neighborhood back in the Gamjongdong, it used to all be shamans. When? About 15, 20 years ago, that neighborhood was all full of shamans. There were all kinds of bamboos and they had balloons. Why? Because they couldn't, they, they bowed down to the bamboo trees and to balloons. What happened to our country? Everybody. Everybody who wanted their children to do well, because why things weren't working out. People who killed themselves, people who hung themselves to death, and people ate poison to kill themselves. There's so many, so many incidents like that. Or some people died from the the cows running into them. Or people who fell into the pond. There was nothing to block all that calamity. That's why our ancestors, they were trying to find a way to block. That's why they, they would pay money to shamans to pray for them, to have or to do the exorcism. They paid money if they had money, but those who are poor, they didn't have money to do that. That's why those who had money, there are many who are crazy. Why? Because Isaiah 44 verse 24. If your ancestor, they did a lot of exorcism, then their children, their descendants will go crazy. It's recorded in the Bible. How come? Why are there so many crazy people in the wealthy families? Because that's what they did. It's according to the Bible. They go, their descendants go crazy. Why you paid money to put more demons inside you? So what's that telling us? What is all this telling us? On earth, everything, who creates all those problems? Now you know. That's why Proverbs 3 verse 6 in all things, you have to acknowledge Him. You have to acknowledge Him, then you don't have no worries or problems. But if you have problems, if you have worries, then you're following the demons, not God. It's according to all your worries that the, the calamity will come. You'll be, you'll be doomed accordingly. Job chapter 3, verse 24. Job was doomed. Why? Every day he gave service. It's not just once a week. These, de these fake Christians, no, he gave service every day, Job did. But because he was worried, he worried, big, then ten of, both, all ten of his children, they died, and all of his wealth went away. The word of God, there's no lies. If you're worried, does that mean you have faith or not? If you are suspicious of the Bible and you ask questions, does that mean you have faith or not? Where is that written? Romans chapter 4, verse 20. Those who are, have suspicions, they have demons inside. They don't have faith. They think they're so smart, that's why they're asking the question, but I'm sorry, but the Word of God, if you are suspicious of that, that means you have demons inside. If you don't have faith in you, what else is inside? Matthew 12, verse 28, it's either demons or, or faith, it's one or the other. And yet you think you're so smart. Oh, when I look at the Bible, I, I can't understand. Yeah, of course, you have demons inside. How can you know? Whose demons? John chapter 8, verse 44, your father's demons, your ancestors' demons, your father or your mother or your mother or your, your grandmother or your grandfather demons block you from realizing. That's John chapter 8, verse 44. And that's why the first four books of the Bible, even when you read it, you'll be so ashamed. That's why you can't be suspicious of the Bible. And yet you sit there and you're suspicious. You say you go to church, they say, oh, faith, they get it for free? They just get it? They're just full of lies. Yes, he does get, God, God will give you for free, but he doesn't give to the, the crazy. No, only those who are obedient to the word of God, he'll give it for free. He doesn't just give it. He doesn't just give it freely to anybody. If you think he does that with faith, then why should you go to church? Everybody should go to heaven. Doesn't make any sense. And yet these fake churches, they teach that? What is denomination? Is it in Christ or out of Christ? It's also out of Christ. They all have demons inside. That's why they make denominations. Jude chapter 1, it's all recorded there. When you have the dissensions, and yet people think that that is correct. That's really pathetic. No matter how much, you have to be in Christ to be one. Otherwise, you're not one. When you're in Christ, all your heart becomes one. 
If you're not in one, then you're outside of Christ. If you're a dog and pig, when people give you food, you cannot go to heaven with that. The only animals, they only want food, but human, you have to fulfill the will of God. That is our spiritual food. That's John chapter 4, verse 34. It's really pathetic. So what's going to happen with the politics? What's going to happen? It just gets worse and worse. More evil. If you don't believe in God, you become worse. Why? It's written in the Bible. Let's look up 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 13. That's what it says there. If you don't believe in God, what's going to happen to politics? What? It's just going to get worse. It's according to the Bible. So look carefully. It gets worse and worse. You say, oh, at a certain time somebody was bad. Somebody, No, it gets worse and worse. I'm not sure, but back in the Lee Dynasty, who was the biggest thief? Some people say it was Im Kok Jung, who was the big, biggest thief, or that Il Jime was a betrayer, or whether he was a thief or not. But these days, who's the biggest thief these days? So they go to, have, they go to jail? It's the people who are in blue house that end up in jail. Why is that? They're supposed to be the models, model people, but they end up in jail? It's because why? It gets worse and worse, more evil. So how about the young people? How evil are they? So when you ask them, what happens when you have war? They say, oh, I'm going to go abroad. I just, go, I just run away. How can you have a conversation with someone like that? Sure, that's why they're always out partying. They're going to go down, whether they go to jail or not, they, they, they do whatever they want. What does that mean? What's that telling us? It's really pathetic. So, we have to truly save the people. Do you think that young person wants to say that? I don't know what kind of surveys they took, but why do the young people answer like that? Why? Because you did whatever you want and you stole money from the country and you end up in jail, but I have no backing, so I'm going to go abroad. They're saying it's the same. So where? That means that it's all cricket in your heart. So you have to revive your conscience. You have to revive your heart. That's the only way. This is, everybody wants to be patriotic, but what is true patriotism? It's only the Word of God. And then some people say, it's because you're a pastor, that's why you can say that, but we, it's, we're not pastors. Uh-huh. Whether you're a pastor or not, everybody breathes the same. Oxygen. Whether, whether you're a carpenter, everybody needs oxygen to, to live. So this gospel has to be the basis and do everything on top of that. And because you don't know that, that's why it's so pathetic. What it, we're not telling you to throw away your, your job or, or, or your specialty. You have to keep your specialty, but you have to be a true person, on, which is this gospel. I really wonder how many patriots are there. You're here because you want to live. But this Pang Musu, you come before, what, what can he do? The Word of God has spiritual power. That's Luke chapter 1, verse 37. The Word of God can do everything. So the Word of God, your problems, will, will resolve all the problems. Only the Word can do that. Why? Because the Word is John chapter 1, verse 1, is God. So then the Word will resolve your problems. Everybody has problems. So only the Word of God will resolve that. So only Christ is the rock. So everything you have to do everything on top of the rock, on Christ. Whatever that you do. So that you have to do, so that you have to save yourself first. So Christ is the rock. So you have to be on top of the world, the word first. Oh, but my religion is different. Your religion is not the rock. First, you have to come to the religion before the rock. And then you can, if you want to study, you can. 
The worldly religion is all made by people. But the word of God is not what you need to study about. What's going to happen in the 21st century? It's, it's just going to get more evil. There's going to be more, more murders, more thieves. Those who are supposed to be respectful, they, they steal more. Why? Because the Bible is telling us that. So then the 21st century, the true person, person amongst all, all person among all people have to be have to be successful yes you have to come here if one of, if i live then 10,000 generations god will save so tonight we're not here just to resolve my own problems we have to save south korea and we have to shine into the world this incredible blessing we're so thankful to be have met each other don't you want to shine? What happens when you graduate from school? You, everybody gets a diploma, which is shine, shining. I don't know about the song these days, but that's what we used to sing before at the, at the graduation. They saying that the diplomas were shining. But what does it shine? The more you study, the more the bigger thief you become these days. Light, when you're rebuked a lot, then you will shine. That's Ephesians chapter 5, verse 13. You have to be rebuked a lot so you can shine a lot. So just because you're rebuked doesn't mean that you're going to be shining. No. When you are rebuked, you have to repent through the blood of Christ and you will shine. But these days, what kind of sermons do churches they give? Everybody wants to give a sweet sermon to your sweet to your ears and they're all fake sweet to your ears. What is it that you're studying that they end up in, in jail but because they, they are thieves? People who believe in Jesus, so-called so Jesus, they're worse than those who are non-believers. Why, why are they like that? What kind of sermons have they heard? The, the fake pastors, they only say fake sermons that's only sweet to ears. Second Peter chapter 2, verse 1 and 2, that's heresy, right? Luke chapter 6, verse 26, 26 there's heresies. They only say the wrong things, just like a dog. What is greed? Greed is dog. Isaiah 56, verse 11. The dogs cannot say the right word because of their greed. It's really pathetic. But we have to live. Even if there's no light and it's, it's dark in the world, God said, as long as those who are according to His word, God will give light and that we can brighten the darkness with this gospel there's so many tapes out there who are listening and who are praying our south korea will live let's read together second timothy chapter 3 verse 13 but evil men and imposters shall wax worse and worse deceiving and being deceived amen let's read again but evil men and imposters shall wax worse and worse deceiving and being deceived Amen. It says the evil men. They're deceived. Those who are liars. They get more worse and worse. What's going to happen in the 21st century? It gets worse and worse. It gets more dirtier. And yet people don't know that. And they're saying 21st century is, is going to be even better. Better, sure. Better at thieving. Better at stealing. People use a cell phone. They're, they're actually telling each other, oh, hey, the, the owner's going in. You better hurry up and leave the, throughout the back door. That's what's happening these days. Everything's more advanced. It's only good when you use it for good. But when you use it for bad, evil, it's, it's better that it didn't even exist. Everything happens according to the Bible, and you can only change according to the gospel. Newspaper, all the news on TV is telling you. But all these problems, all these sins, we have, God is telling us that this is a problem. Oh, my child is in jail, or my husband is in jail, or my wife got into an accident and ended up in jail, or that she's in the hospital, or, or that your business is being... It's all problems. It's all because of evil. It all comes from evil. God is telling us to resolve this. 
God said. As long as God gave us because all these problems, because He loves us. Let's find out. Revelations chapter 3, verse 19. As we're living here, it doesn't just end with me, it goes down to our children. They didn't see it. They didn't see it, but it goes down because the demons will pass it down. It, goes, it, it gets passed down to our descendants. So then how do we need to live? world becomes e more evil. We have to go down better and better. What does the word tell us? Evil gets worse and worse. On the other side, good becomes better and better. That means evil and good will separate. Those who are blessed will get, go, get better and better. And those who don't do well get worse and worse. It's going to separate. It's going to get worse. It's going to get wider. And which path are we going to go down? We have to go down the path of blessings. Our children have to do well. We have to avoid all the problems, all, avoid all the calamity. God is living. And the whole universe, God is in control. Whole universe, God is in control. Oh, over there, the moon is somebody else. No, everything is under God's control. God is living. Let's read together. Ready? Go. As many as I love, I reprove and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. Amen. God is saying that He gives us problems because He loves us. And that He wants us to repent. That's God's will. Why? Because God wants us to re re return to Him. It's not because God doesn't want to help us. So why does He give us problems? Because that problem is I did not, I did not make it. God is telling us that He gave us back what we have sown. Let's look up 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 5 and 6. So when I look at you, say, God is, is testing me. No. James chapter 1, verse 12, when you read there, God said, I will not test anybody. God is just giving you what you have sown. And God is giving it to your children. So when you say you have difficulties, it's because what you have sown and your ancestors have sown, it's, it's both come down to you. So when you look at those who are not doing well, look at what their ancestors did. If they're having problems with money, that means that they did bad things with other people's money. What your ancestors stole from other people, you have to repay it. That's why it doesn't work out for you. When you stole God's tithe because they didn't believe in Jesus, until you repay that, you're going to suffer. Malachi, chap Malachi chapter 3, God said that He will get it back from you. That's why it doesn't work out for you. It was, it's almost done, but it doesn't work. Why? Because you stole, your ancestors stole tithe from God. That's why your business is, in, is belly up. No matter how recession it is, if you repent, God will save you. Look at Deacon Moon in our church. People bought, people, people owed him thousands of dollars. But what did he do? He just repented according to the Word of God, according to what Pastor. I just told him to do according to the Bible. And when he did that, so those people, they came back and they said, give me your account number, and then they paid him back. That's what happens when you repent, God will repay you. But if you don't repent, God will not. So how should we need to, how do we need to live? God said, Proverbs 3, verse 6, in all things be protected by me, is what God, is, we just have to do what he's telling us to do. But in all things we live according to what we want, that's where problems happen. And then you say, oh, it's not working out. Or my parents aren't working out. Or my children aren't working out. Or it's not working out for me. Did you really acknowledge Him in all things? You didn't. Your thoughts, your, your theory, you just lived according to logic. It will work sometimes, but it doesn't work sometimes. But the Word of God is the truth. That's why all things, if you rely on God, if you rely on God on top of the rock, when you repent and when you pray, then God will guide you to blessings. This is for sure. But if you do according to logical logic, what's, why, why, is having, why is Japan Japan having problems financially? Because of logically? What's happening with the United States? But now? But why is it that the United States is uh, trying to get money back from other countries? Is logic working for them? No. Logic? 
First Corinthians chapter 3 verse 19 is going to be doomed. World, all, in the world, they all try to be logic, use logic, but that's what they all do. But if you use the truth of God, you, you will not be doomed. Why do you have problems in your household? Why? And why are you here? Because you didn't acknowledge God. That's all resolve our problems. What do we look up? Second Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 5 and 6. The problems we have, so before God, before your parents, what do your parents want you to do? They say, tell me the truth. Say the truth. That's what all the parents want. That's what God wants from us. God wants us to be the truth. So I'll tell, that's 1 John chapter 1, verse 9. Say the truth. Confess what you did. The problems that we have now, you have family problems or personal problems or children problems. God did give it back to you, what you and your ancestors have sown. It's not because he hates you or because you're stubborn. No, it is what you and your ancestors have sown that God gave it back to you. But you and me, as we live, what, how are we living our life? When, when problems happen, you say, which jerk has done this? You're actually cursing yourself and your ancestors. It's really pathetic. Sure, I too have done that in the past, but once I realized the word, it's not... If you're unlucky and, and you're conned, you say, oh, that jerk, should I kill him? That con artist, he didn't do it. It's your ancestors have sown. Your ancestors and what you have sown, and God is returning back to you. But we try to kill that person, the messenger. So, and then we say we curse them. And yet people, they worship the ancestors, but they're, they're saying they're cursing their ancestors out. They're doing something wrong, aren't they? The Word of God is telling us correctly that problem, that is everything that your ancestors and you have sown, that it's being re returned back to you. But that problem... We instead, we, we blame other people and then we're full of complaints. You got into an accident. Because of that, you hurt your leg. No, it's because your ancestors, they actually, they're whistleblowers. And, and so God gave it back to you by hurting your leg. And yet, but you complain about, you blame the accident. It's really sad. Verse five and six, ready? Go, which is a manifest token of the righteous judgment of God, to the end that ye may be counted worthy of the kingdom of God, for which ye also suffer. If so be that it is a righteous thing with God to recompense affliction to them that afflict you. Amen. I'll read it. Which is a manifest token of the righteous judgment, that judgment of God that right judgment of God, righteous judgment. Many people, they want to be righteous and they want to be just. You have to live a just life so that you don't have problems later on. So why is it that if you have fame and you're in a high position and you have problems later on, it's because you weren't just, that's why. Who has just? Proverbs 28, verse 5. Only the righteous are just, but the wicked, evil, they can't. The friendship between right and wrong, and everything they do, they sow, calamity will follow. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 13. In the past, what you have hidden, God will repay it all back to you. This is what God is telling us. God said He will put it all out to you. This is what God is telling us. So if you leave it, it's going to come up. But if you repent, Isaiah 43, verse 25. God does not remember any. God will always make it so that you call God. God will make that. When problems start coming out, it cannot be resolved unless you call me. Isaiah 50 verse 15. Everybody, why do we go before the Lord, go to church, and we repent and we listen to the word? and to the pastor, you have to listen to this word, because that calamity is all coming back to you and me, what are your ancestors, and what you have sown, it's full of it. 
The Word of God promises that He will erase all that. It is not the problems with fame or your, it, it's with your health and your children's problems and your wisdom, knowledge, and, and dying and living. You're, whether you're going to be successful or fail, it's all according. And God said that He promised to resolve all that, this incredible promise. And that is why we're here today. How precious is that? By why? Why is the number of people who believe in Jesus is so little? It's because they listen to the fake, fake sermons, and it doesn't work. That's why they say, I'm just going to sleep at night. Why should I go to church at night? Even though we live in this, everybody needs to rest, right? And that's why people fall into that logic. Why? Because even if they go, it's just full of sermons that are all fake. There's no reason to listen to that. It doesn't even work out. So why should they waste time by going? So is really the Word of God like that? No. God is telling us. He's a righteous judgment of God. How does He give us a sign? He's telling us. To the end that you may be counted worthy of the kingdom of God for, for which you also suffer. What, you have problems? God is a just God. That's why he, may, he gave it to you so that you can be counted worthy to go to the kingdom of God so you can repent and find your place for which you also suffer because of the kingdom of God. What you have sown is re, it's being repaid to you and you're just going to suffer. Verse 6, If so be it that it is a righteous thing with God to recompense affliction to them that afflict you. If it's not that God has given back to you, but you have problems, and someone is making you suffer that you haven't sown, that God is going to be repaid to that people and to their descendants. That's why you have nothing to worry about. That's why Philippians chapter 4, verse 6, do not worry about anything. The problem, just give it all over to the Lord. Just give it over to the Lord. Lord, how? First, you have to repent. And, and second, you have to you have to ask, and third, you have to, with thanksgiving, with forced repentance, give it over to God. Is that what He's telling us? And that He'll be responsible for taking care of it. How promise is His prom How great is His promise? You are being frustrated on the problems that you bring. It's one or the other. Either one, one case is that someone has is being unfair to you, then you just have to repent that as your own. But if your ancestors have stolen and you have, they just have to repent and be forgiven. You have nothing to worry about. So why are you here to receive this blessing? So if you have problems, let's look up Proverbs 12, verse 25. Proverbs 12, verse 25. God is so good. So every time I'm meditating on God's word, God is so good. Why do people waste time doing the wrong things? What is the Exodus? The children. If you have million people, let's say 50% is women. Within the 500,000, how many people are giving birth? Amongst the desert, the sand, and the, it blows into you, your face, and just imagine, just imagine that circumstance. So during this exodus, the children and the mothers, were there any greens? No, it's just full of sand. How, how, what did they do that they lived for 40 years? Obedience is 40 years. So when you live like that, God, God will be responsible for you. But if you do it on your own, you'll be doomed. People ask me about building the, the church or the, or the prayer place. I say, just do what God is telling you to do. If you do me, 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 you'll be doomed. If you look at those who are not doing well, it's all they think they're so smart. If you have denomination, if dissensions and those who make problems, they think they're so smart. They're full of excuses and complaints. They're not blessed at all. 
and their children they don't they're not it doesn't work out for them so look at those fake people who go to i'm sure there's some of you who are here if you haven't learned how to repent you're full of complaints and excuses and you only know the bible with your head and then you're gonna argue about the bible see if you're doing well or your children go to an accident and see if they're fake they're probably fake christians out there why why do they do that because God is a just God. Whatever you sow, you will reap. But let us not go down that path. Let us be obedient. You'll, you, won't, you won't be harmed at all. Faith is obedience. And yet people say, you, don't, you just have to believe. You don't, you don't have to obey. They're, fool, they're fools. Faith is obedience. John chapter 3, verse 36 is recorded there. Proverbs 12, verse 25. Ready? Go. Heaviness in the heart of a man makes it stoop, but a good word makes it glad. Amen. If your business isn't doing well, or, or your problems with your health, and you're full of worries, when you have these worries, these worries, what does it resolve that to change to happiness? What's the key? It's a good word. It's the only good word is the word of God, this gospel. So that's why when you listen to the word, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 20, the fake service demons will take. But the word of God, the good word, that's the first step. Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 1, when you listen to the word, all your worries will be changed into answers to happiness. So what's happening when you're listening to the word of God? It's according to the word of God. Aha! Uh -huh. No matter what you have sown, thorns, your ancestors, and what you did wrong, up until now you didn't know how to repent, that you go, you've been going to fake churches, but if you erase the blood of Christ, it'll get erased. Is that true or not? Let's look up Isaiah 43, verse 25. So because it's gone, that's why God, even though He does a judge, He does judgment, He has nothing to give it back to you. Why? But when you have all the worries, only the Word of God, the good Word will change all that into happiness, into joy. So that means that your yeah, problems will change into answers. That's why you believe in Jesus. How thankful are you? You are so blessed. Isaiah 43, verse 25. Ready? Go. I, even I, am he that blots out thy transgressions for mine own sake, and I will not remember thy sins. Amen. The blood of Christ, when you erase, God doesn't even remember. So that's why, even though he's a just God, he has no more record of it, so he's not going to repay you. How thankful, how thankful is that? Which religion is going to give you this blessing? So no matter what religion, this gospel, Christ, has to be the rock. First you have to do that. Then you can study about the, that, the religion. You can do that. You can do all things. But this gospel has to be the basis. So you have to find your life. You have to find yourself and block all the calamity. Other religions, there's no way to block all the calamity. So you just follow this word. Does this harm others or, or does it give you blessings? So why is it that you don't want to listen? John chapter 3. John chapter 3 verse 20. It's so good, so why don't you want to listen to it? It's because you've never listened to it, that's why. Romans chapter 11. 10 verse 17 faith is from the listening you have to listen to the the word of christ verse 18 you've never heard anyone sharing this gospel why because all the fakes are saying the wrong things but let's spread this gospel i have to do well and i have to spread this gospel so those who are here today during this this time the revival let's change your fate so when you change your fate your descendants will do well your whole household will do well that's matthew 8 verse 18. 8 verse 13 even though you're here but the person at home will be healed so please let's all believe many people they don't believe they go to church but they don't believe so if you believe then the word of God miracles will happen 
And then they say, why doesn't it work? It's because you didn't believe, that's why it doesn't work out. First Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 13. You just have to believe. John chapter 3, verse 20. Ready? Go. For everyone that does evil hates the light and comes not to the light, lest his works should be reproved. Amen. So how foolish is that? The evil, you think that you want to go to fake churches. Many people, those who are really sick or they have problems with their head, they don't want to come to our church. They want to listen to their wife. They, they say to their, their wife, they say, if you go to other church, I will follow you. They're demons. That's why they know. They say, if I, I can go to any other church, but I'm not going to go to Busan First Church. Why? Because the Word of God said, are they evil or are they good? The evil, they don't want to come here. Yesterday, I saw somebody ask me, what should I do with my, my family? Just wait. Just leave them alone. Matthew chapter 8. When that sick person, when he couldn't come to, before the Lord, they left him at home. When they don't want to come, just leave them at home. As long as you come here and, and be upright, according to your faith, everybody at home will be healed. And that's why many people, they say, I, it's okay for me. I'm okay, but he's a problem. No, family is the same. The mother had an abortion to the oldest daughter, to the second daughter, the demon of abortion went, went inside them and they got all sick. They have thyroid people, thyroid cancer. And, the, and when they, they went to the hospital and the, the doctor said, let's actually have an operation. Just because you operate, does the demons go away? No. The knife, what's stronger than the knife? The, the gun? So if you have a gun, the demons can't come inside? No, that's not right. We've actually captured on the video. So then, Pastor Park, how come you don't pray like that anymore? I am in a very tired state, and we don't have time for that anymore. The Word of God, if it performs miracles when you're listening, then it'll happen. Why? The Word of God is, is spiritual power. Luke chapter 1, verse 37. There's nothing that the Word cannot do. The spiritual power, that's why the Word of God is the best. That's why. I've never even seen this person, but when they listen to the tape, they call and say, by listening to the tape, they got healed. And I've never seen them. And then they're like getting and trying to hold me and all that. Right? Even right now, God is performing operations on all of you. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. He's piercing your, your bones, your marrow. You'll all do well. We're here to receive this blessing. We have to all do well. This blessing is infinite. He has prepared all the blessings. So why, 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 why do you worry and only get calamity and you're doomed? Let's change the problems, change the worries into what? Proverbs 12, 15 verse 12, verse 15 verse 25 into joy. So you have to receive answers so you can be blessed. There's no, nowhere in the world that would change it. Which hospital, which religion, which education center would change your problems into joy? No, only the word. Only God will do that. This is faith. This faith, changing all your worries, when you repent, will change into faith. Then all happiness, God will give it to you. Romans chapter 15, verse 13. Let us all do well. What does that mean? That means for you to do well. So you and your descendants can receive blessings. Matthew 8, verse 13. According to your faith, it'll happen. This incredible blessing you should take. But why, why don't you want to take this? God wants to give us good things. From what? From everlasting life going to heaven. And after that, all things be prosperous in all things and give you health. This is the peace that God gives. John chapter 14, verse 27. And we're here to receive this blessing. What, you have problems right now? No matter what problems you have in the household, God is saying, call on Him. Let's look up. Psalms 50, verse 15. 50, verse 15. So if we call Him, why? To change your worries into, into joy. Tonight, the promise from the Bible, according to the promise, you should die. Why? Because you have conned in the past. Your fame, 
It's because you took, you took other person's rights and you should die, but God's going to save you. Why? And, and your whole family should be dying, but God's going to save you. And you sh tonight, Genesis chapter 32, all the calamity, change into blessings in, in Genesis chapter 33. This blessing will happen tonight. So all the big problems, if it gets resolved, just continue to do the visual service. Your ancestors to third, second and third generation, if they did high, high positions for the country, they did all the bad things, and all the bad things have been passed down to you. So if it's like a string, it's all, it's all in shambles. But when you do virtual service, then God will, re God will resolve it all. That's why when you do force your repentance, when you just listen to the tape, problems will be resolved. This child was really like this, really strange. He was changed. He was fine. This crazy person became normal. And this young person who had cancer, he got all healed. How does that happen? Because God does that. That's why. Do you have problems? Call on Him. Why? Because He gave you the problems. How? Because your ancestors, what they did and you did, God has given it back to you. What? Or somebody else just is being evil, then God will resolve all that. You just take blessings. The second Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 5 and 6. That's why for us, we have no problems. What? You have worries? God will change it to joy. Only when you meet God. Psalms 50, verse 15. Ready? Go. And call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver thee, and thou shalt glorify me. Amen. Here, God is telling us what you have difficulties and you have worries. God is saying, call on me. So other religions, uh, do, do they not have problems? Of course they do. How about those philosophers and those educators? Do they have problems? Of course they do. So God is saying, call on me. What, this problem that you have, this trouble? God gave you this trouble so you can call on Him. What the problems you have, God wants you to call Him. And that's why I, I look at you and think, do you love God? God gave you this problem. He wants you to help Him. But you just turn around to what's around you. When you have such big worries, you say, oh God, you hold on to Him. but And then you also worry, look around to see if there's anything else. And then you go somewhere else. So then God heals you and say, oh, and then you hold on to him again. What, you have, you have trouble? Call on him. Call on God. In the world, those, look at the religion. Look at countries that believe in other religions. They're all, they're all poor. They don't, they don't call on God. They say, Allah, Allah. God wants you to call him. There are many of you who have problems. If you go to the hospital, it's filled with problems. Or you go to the court, it's full of problems. But they don't call on God. God is going to continue to give you problems until you call on Him. If South Korea wants to do well, whether you're a scientist, they're going to say, you have to make all the best things. And Or if you're educators, you have to teach them well. Everybody has answers for themselves. But what do we need to do according to the Word of God? You have to call on God. So what is right? Up until now, in the world, God has done and other countries have done what, what, they have, what has worked for them. If you think the education will resolve all the problems, that's what's going to happen to your family and your children. Even the educator's family, they themselves aren't doing well. So then the only, there's only the Word of God. If you did force your repentance, you did better and better. So then who is correct? So do not slander other people. Or you're wrong and I'm, or you're, you're fake and your religion is wrong. Do not say those things. Let's just compare the results. Who's doing better? Is it really better to, to build a house with dirt? No matter what you say, it's going to work out. You can be free to say whatever you want. But let's see really if it works out well. It's only the word of God. So why can't, you, why can't you believe the Word of God? That's because you have demons inside. You're evil. You do evil things. You're afraid that your past will come out. Does, does your past get hidden? Hebrews chapter 4, verse 13. Let's look that up. Everybody, you, everything will come out. 
what you hit it and and 50 years has passed even after you die it'll come out and people will slander you people will say bad things about you and your family your descendants god will repay you god will bring it out to the open so do not try to fool god 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 will bring it out on the open hebrews 4 verse verse 13. verse 12 god says that he will verse 13 ready go and there is no creature that is not manifest in his sight but all things are naked and laid open before the eyes of him with whom we have to do amen if you don't believe in jesus and according to their own thoughts oh, i fooled everybody nobody knows no do not mistake do not be mistaken it's all going to come out just like you're naked the word of God will, is fulfilled. What? It lasted hundreds of years? It all comes out. It all comes out. Psalms 50 verse 21. God will repay it all before you. To who? To you and your descendants. So you and your descendants will have to pay for all the problems. They'll be so ashamed. God is telling this, us. And people don't ask for God. Your problems, God wants you to call on Him, and He will resolve it. But you can't meet God, be, instead you go to fake churches. You can only meet God only through Christ, only through forced repentance. But if you go to church and your problems aren't resolved, that's fake. You go to the door, but if you can't meet Him, that's fake. Who is fooling you? He's, they're fooling you if you can't meet Him. Let's all live correctly. It's going to work out for us today through the blood of Christ. What's blocking between me and God, all that will be broken. It'll work for all of you. The blood of Christ, force your repentance, it'll work out. In Christ, who is there? 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 19. God is in Christ. So when you, God is in, force your repentance. What, you have problems? Call on God. But listen carefully. When you come to our church, those who are sick or your business isn't, or your problems with your personality, your children have problems, whatever problems you bring, you're being obedient to the Word of God, you'll realize, you'll experience that problems will be resolved. Your children, you don't know where they left, where they where they were, they're gone, but they come back. Miracles that you've never even thought of happen. So why don't you want to receive this blessing? Let's all receive this blessing. Let's all live correctly. No matter what problems you brought, and the problems and the torture, God is saying, call on Him. Call on God. So, Father doesn't listen to you. Isaiah 59 verse 1 and 2 is because of sin. Just erase the sins with the blood of Christ. Then God does not even remember. He'll help you. Let's all receive this blessing and do better and better. Let's all do better and better. Ezekiel chapter 18. We read it at dawn service. The Father ate the grape and the children's teeth hurt. It goes down to your children. So the blessings go down and calamity also go down. We just have to repent and the children the block all the calamity. Only blessings will go down to our children. Not, your, not, not only your family, but the, the country too. If our country is having a problem, we have to call on God. You have to only call on God when you're in Christ. Then He will listen to you. But if you don't do forced repentance, you have demons inside, you call on God, God will not listen to you. Look at the fake churches. They say, Lord, Lord, who's worthy to call on the Lord? 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 3. Only those who have the Holy Spirit, they, they have the right to call on the Lord. But otherwise, you're fake. So how do you receive the Holy Spirit? They're in the Jesus. They're in Jesus Christ. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 20. The Holy Spirit is inside Jesus. Where is Jesus? Jesus is with Christ. If you have to do forced repentance, you can be worthy to call on the Lord. So if you don't do forced repentance and you call on the Lord, and that the denominations are broken, and they're not one, and they're full of complaints, they have demons inside, how can it work out? God doesn't listen to them. And that's why you come to Busan First Church. It doesn't mean just by coming. No, the Word of God will make it work for you. It's not Pang Musu that makes it work. It's the Word of God will make it work. The line has been connected so, the, so that electricity will come in. But if it's broken, electricity will not come. Even if it's made with gold, if it's broken, it's not going to work. You just have to be connected. The electricity will come. Let's all receive this and do better and better. 
So then today, let's all call on the Lord today. Because of problems, because of that problems, all the problems that you bring. Proverbs 14 verse 10, you say, Your heartache, who understands? Who knows about your heartache? Only God knows. Nobody else knows. I wish that, honey, you would understand. No, stop being like a demon. Those with demons are full of complaints and grumbling. How come the family and, and the, between the spouses, they argue because they're, they blame each other, saying they don't understand me. Which Bible says that they will understand your heart? You don't even know, understand yourself. Who is that? Those who are educators, who are educated, who get a lot of divorces. They say, oh, he doesn't understand me. Ha, ha, ha. God said that no one can understand you. So how can you expect that? Come to your senses. Only God can understand and comfort you. Psalms 119 verse 50. So why do you go to the wrong place and ask them to understand you? You and your spouse have a bad relationship. It's because you have excuses. You have demons inside. That's because you have sin. When you watch the drama, it's really pathetic. I can't even write. I too have pride. Instead, you should say, I too have a lot of sin. Why? Because pride comes from sin. Instead, they say, I'm full of pride. That means that they are full of sin. But when you point out, say, you have a lot of sin, they get all upset. They're so foolish. They're not even shameful when they lie. When you tell them, say, you're really bad, but instead they say, I'm full of pride. They're foolish. They're full, just like perishing animals. That's why God said, you're a perishing animal. Psalms 49 verse 20. So let us wake up from that. What pride? It's because of sin. Genesis chapter 3, verse 7 through 9. When you sin and you do evil acts, then you're going to have pride. And, and that pride will make culture. What you say, oh, the culture is really good. Don't be fooled. If only culture in Christ is, is good for you, it gives benefit to you. But when you make culture with sin, it's all full of evil. You have to differentiate. Let's close our eyes. What kind of problems did I bring? Who gave you this problem? Your ancestors, what you have sown. God is just and He has given it back. You just have to confess that you have these difficulties. You just have to confess that. Oh, why is my family has this calamity and that we are suffering? What your ancestors have done and, and tormented and really suffered other families Whatever that they have stoned, God has given it back to you. You just have to confess that that is your sin. First John chapter 1, verse 9, you just have to confess your sin, and God will not e remember any of it. Blood of Christ, let's erase all the sins. So let's all change your fate during the revival. Let's show it to our other people. Why is it that you don't want to listen to the truth? It's because you're afraid of your sins coming out. Why is it that you don't want to listen to the word, this sermon, which is the right word? That's because you're evil. John chapter 8, 3, verse 20. The word of God is the truth. Let us confess our sins so the word will be sweeter than honey so we can confess our sins. Let us all be like that. Let us pray for our country and our citizens. It is time to pray for them. But, but because you're drowning, that's why you cannot pray for other people. You're drowning, so how can you save other people and that you're going to die together? First, you have, to, you have to be revived first, and then you can save your neighbors. Let's cry to the Lord three times. The demons will be cast away. The demons that are tormenting our household will be cast away. Our answers, transgression, our sins, all that will be passed away. South Korea will do better and better. Our country will praise all over the world. Let's cry out to the Lord three times. Ready? Go. Chiyo! 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 Oh, Father God, I have live so wrongly father father please change your worries into happiness help you said those who cry out is blessed help us to cry out to you lord and receive all the blessings